All right, Game Maker, how to make an object fire randomly. What I have here is I have a room already made. I'm just going to grab an object that I've got pre-made here called a tower. I'm going to stick the tower there in the room. I'm going to get this tower to fire randomly in random directions at random times. So here we go. Let's go to the tower object. And uh, one way to do this is to use the step event. So in the step event, which is taking place for my settings, 30 times a second. Now this code gets run no matter what's going on in your game. So any code you put here, it's going to occur 30 times a second. Let's go to the control tab, add a little bit of code. And here we go. <clears throat> just to show you how quickly this is going to take place here, let's just uh, make a ball, we'll call it ABC, instance create, X comma Y, and I already have an object called ball. Let's take that object, let's set its speed. Now I'll set its speed to a random value. If you wanted to, you can make this a set speed, but I'll just do random here. And I'll do the same thing with the direction. I'll make the direction of the ball fire from 0 to 359 degrees. Now that's really it. Now when I give this a quick test, you're going to see what happens. The tower is going to be making 30 balls per second. Okay, so that's a lot. Now, you probably don't want it to fire that much, because if this game involved you avoiding this, that would be pretty tough. So, what we're going to do here is we're just going to add one extra little bit of logic, which says to our tower in the step event, we're not always going to want to fire the ball. We only want to fire the ball sometimes. So one way to do this is let's pick a random number here. I random range. Let's pick a number between 1 and let's make it like 1 and 20. And I'm just going to ask a simple if here, a little condition. If the number happens to be the number 1, then I get to do this code. Now, as you can see here, the odds of getting a 1 for right here will be 1 and 20. So... It's not going to happen every time, but remember this is the step event, and the step event is firing off at 30 times per second. So eventually you will get that one, and uh, you'll actually get more than one a second. So you can see here, you now have some random firing. Just change that number 20 in there <clears throat> if you want more or less. So if you wanted to, if you took this up, you could see if you made it like a number large, like 150, the odds of getting that 1 have just dropped quite a bit. And so now when you actually give this a run, you'll see that it doesn't come out as often. So you can play around with that, right? This is one basic way. Um, it doesn't guarantee the ball fires within any given time period. That is another video that we have up. Uh, but this way is just nice random direction, random timing. Thanks for watching.